Spoiler alert. Horseman Challenge 9 in Red Dead Redemption 2 can be a little frustrating. There's some conflicting opinions out there about what you can and can't do during the dry dash from Van Horn to Blackwater. I'll address these issues and show you what I feel is the easiest path to complete this challenge in under 17 minutes. First and foremost, rain does not affect this challenge whatsoever. Ignore anyone who tells you to start the dash over if it starts raining. It is completely irrelevant, as you'll see in the walkthrough here. The only water you need to be concerned about, aside from rivers of course, are these little streams on the map right around Emerald Ranch. If you stray off course, your horse could accidentally trot right over one and cause you to fail the challenge without even realizing it. Second, whatever you do, stay on your horse. If you dismount or get knocked off for any reason, the challenge fails and you'll have to start over. So be sure to watch out for NPCs who like to show up out of nowhere and send you flying and ignore any situation you encounter where you're prompted to help someone. Here's the path we'll be taking for this run and there are specific intervals where you'll want to set your waypoints, which I'll show you as we go along. Notice this route completely avoids the town of Strawberry. Do not go through there for any reason as doing so only slows you down and leaves you prone to bumping into people and getting knocked off your horse. And lastly, make sure to bring lots of potent horse stimulant unless you've reached bonding level 4 with your horse, which allows you to refill some stamina every 15 seconds by pressing L3. Alright, let's get started. And we're going to set our first waypoint right here. This is going to be the bridge uh, right around Butcher Creek. And we'll show you as we get there. And we're off. First thing to point out here as we pass by our first NPC, uh, keep really sharp control of your camera using the right analog stick. You basically want to kind of keep it at an angle ever so slightly so you can see people that spawn in front of you. Um, one of the things in Red Dead that uh, always seems to suck is when you're traveling in the default view um, your character and horse kind of tend to block, you know, what's right in the middle of your path half the time. This will cause you many, many headaches if you don't remember to stay on top of it, so definitely do that. As we work our way through uh, Butcher Creek, we are coming up on the bridge, and this is the completion of our first waypoint. And we're going to put our second marker right there. And right away, as I alluded to earlier, you're noticing it's starting to rain. Despite what you may have heard or what you may read on some help forums, the water and the rain does not affect this dash whatsoever. As silly as that is to say, because it's supposed to be a dry dash, but getting rained on or trudging through the puddles that uh, the rain creates doesn't mean anything it's completely irrelevant so don't waste time and uh, think that your challenge has been disqualified and, and uh, take the time of starting over if this happens it is completely meaningless if you're not seeing water on the map uh, is in like a landmark body of water, uh, whether it's a river, a lake, or a stream. It does not count in this run. It's not what the challenge is looking for as far as things to use to disqualify you. As you can see, I'm running over wet puddles right now. It means absolutely nothing. Do not be concerned about that whatsoever. waypoint. We're going to go all the way down here, right around Flatneck Station, and it's right before the rail bridge that goes over the river. And this way, 
not only avoids Valentine, which there's no reason to ever go up there, but uh, the important thing are these little streams that I touched on earlier. These little bodies of water right around Emerald Ranch will completely kill this challenge if you accidentally run over them. So you want to be sure to stick to this path right here. And once again, staying out of that area completely. Just follow the highlighted area. As we give our horse a little uh, <laughs> steroid injection. Our uh, noble stallion is on the juice. And one thing you may be noticing, the time count. I'm actually keeping the time count running when I go in and out of the map screen here just to demonstrate how much extra time you have to pull this off. So there's no need to get in a panic. Uh, you know, you want to move swiftly, but uh, I call it controlled aggression, I guess. And watch these hills when you're coming up over them. Uh, it's not a bad idea to kind of step off the main path and a little bit to the side there because once again these NPCs they will come out of nowhere uh, you'll you'll encounter this several times along the way so make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that Once again, don't forget to adjust your camera angle. Make sure you can see out in front of you. <laughs> and as you can hear there, your horse is going to wail and whine and carry on for uh, most of the dash here. Just ignore that. And if you're on horse level bonding 4, as I touched on earlier, you won't really be as dependent on the horse stimulant. You can tap L3 and... Uh, uh, John or Arthur will kind of give the horse some terms of endearment and you'll notice a stamina boost and you can time those every 15 seconds and if you stick to that you won't need any of the horse stimulant at all. Of course I think with my luck my horse got killed shortly before I decided to make a video about this so I just hit level 2 with this horse as you saw earlier so I need the stimuli. Again, taking extra care. Whenever you spot NPCs, try to steer clear of them. Go around them carefully. Um, you don't want to uh, fall into the game's weird magnetic energy that uh, sometimes is the case where you feel like, I don't know, you're kind of magically pulled into certain things. But now that we're here, we're going to cross this rail bridge into Rick's Station. And once again, you see the rain, you see the water beneath me horse is uh, splashing right through it does not affect this dry dash whatsoever <laughs> for whatever reason one thing to definitely keep in mind when you're coming across this bridge there is a distinct possibility that you will meet the train head-on uh, if that happens turn around go back step off the track and wait for the train to pass trust me you will have plenty of time to wait for it to pass by and uh, you'll be able to get back up here and carry on. It's not happening for us on this run, fortunately, but uh... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's coming right at us. Hang on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Woo! Well, that could have ended badly. Both of us could have face planted right there and that would have ended the challenge because I would have fell off my horse, but uh... No harm, no foul. We're still doing well, and right now, this is going to be our uh, next track, but before we can set our waypoint way over by the dam, we need to get across this bridge, so we'll set it right here. And again, being extra cautious, avoid the NPCs. And just keep a steady pace as you track along here. Alright, as
as we hit the bridge. And we have another waypoint completed. And now let's set our next one. And again, you want to be careful where you place this. Placing it here, you will see that uh, it sets a path that takes you right through the river. Of course, that's a big no-no. So instead of right there, you want to place it right there at the intersection. It'll be this track here, which is completely dry. And we will completely avoid the town of Strawberry. When I was uh, doing research on this particular challenge, I noticed that uh, a lot of these run-throughs and a lot of the strategy that people were recommending, I noticed a lot of people were going through Strawberry, and that just kind of... I don't know, I find that bizarre that uh, people actually took the time to do that. If you go through Strawberry, you are putting yourself at high risk. It takes a lot of extra time to navigate through there. There's a lot of people around, and the chances of you falling off your horse are really high. So, if you stick to this track, you will completely avoid it. time count we're doing just fine we are just over nine and a half minutes all right and it looks like somebody is maybe getting robbed we're gonna go right around them completely ignore the situation uh, you may get dinged for uh, they may give you negative honor well there it is don't worry about that just keep going can always make that up later, no big deal, unless you're kind of like me and you really don't care. <laughs> it seems like the more I try to be honorable in this game, the more I find people annoy me and I end up shooting them in the head, but that's me. Another NPC, I'm going to slow down and get around them. Once again, I, I can't remind you guys enough with the camera here, make sure you stay in control of that and keep the camera angled so that you can see everything in front of you. If you, uh, if the game kind of lulls you to sleep and you forget to do that, I'm telling you, if you're looking at it kind of in the default view, you'll have somebody spring up on you out of nowhere. As we make our turn and we're heading over the bridge, should be coming up here. Let's go ahead and set our next waypoint and we'll put it right about here which is going to take us down through these mountains and if there's one area of this challenge where I recommend you be highly highly careful it's right here you don't want to get into a bunch of a hurry because NPCs will definitely spawn out of nowhere um, you have these uh, kind of curvy turns you have to take around pieces of this mountain where you can't really see and if you get too far ahead of yourself, you'll run right into somebody. And you'll have to start the whole thing over. So, take extra care. You definitely don't want to feel a uh, sense of urgency, I guess. Don't get in a panic. And take your time. There's a guy who could have possibly screwed us over had we been uh, trying to gallop through there. And here's a narrow bridge that uh, you want to use a little caution as you're crossing it. just about out of this mountain area here and we'll be able to see a lot more in front of us coming around this curve and that should do it for this area and 
we're coming up on our next to last little checkpoint here. Time-wise, we are doing very well. Running right at 13 and a half minutes, and you got 17 to complete this, and uh, we are uh, just a short dash away from Blackwater at this point. Now, if you want, you can follow this road. Uh, but for the purpose of the video, I will go ahead and set the waypoint and put it right there. And it's pretty much a straight shot at this point. But keep in mind, uh, stay control of your camera. These NPCs are still spawning. You don't want to run into one, especially at this point. We're just about there. And this is the final stretch here, and you can kick it into high gear if you'd like. But uh, again, plenty of time. As we see Blackwater materialize in the distance, we're just about there. Here we are. Challenge complete. Just under 15 minutes, and that's including the time I spent on the pause screen looking at the map, kind of going into details about different things with the waypoints. So follow the guide here, pace yourself, and you should be able to finish this challenge with plenty of time to spare. Hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.